I broke my 3D printer. Notice anything different? It's printing a wing section right now. Look how pretty that is. I mean, that is just killer. Anyway, uh, you notice something missing from my printing? Does that make it more apparent? Yeah, my LEDs are gone on the print head. And I really kind of like them for shining a light down inside the prints and I could kind of see through them. Well, I got a kit recently and a bunch of nozzles because I needed this nozzle tool right here. And it came with some brass brushes for cleaning up your nozzle. Well, that's what I've been using them for. And it seems yesterday while in there cleaning the nozzle, because this stuff gets all over it and causes problems. As I pulled the brush out, I scraped it across the LED strip that I had mounted in the front of that print head. And you can see right here where it's black. It just, I, I didn't really know. I know that metal on metal doesn't work with voltage. I just didn't remember that these were exposed. Sorter joints would have been just as bad over here. Probably anywhere on the edges it would have been just as bad. But yeah, there, there it is, right there. Nice and a little pop and sparks and out went the LEDs. Now then, yesterday I was just going to leave this off. I clipped the wires above it, then pulled the wires back up through the print head. It was a pain in a posterior to mount this damn thing. But you know, I really do like it. Just six little LEDs, white. Like I say, shining down inside the print, showing me what the walls looked like it was really nice. So today I miss it. So right now, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about it. But I broke my 3D printer. Then I went in to look for an L LED strip for an Ender 3. Do you know, even if you go through all these things and save you all and start down through this list of everything you can see here, that LED strip I bought only, uh, it's probably two years ago, no more than, isn't sold anymore. <laughs> Maybe because it's such a pain in the posterior to add to that printer for such a small, I think it was six bucks. I don't remember where I got it. I've searched a couple of my vendors and I can't find it. But what I do find is now there's all sorts of fancy solutions. Look at this one. They got the LED strip on the top beam of the gantry. Some of them are putting it on the uh, same one as the print head I'm not sure how that works with that belt moving and the print head moving on that but I have saw I have to look deeper into those maybe it mounts on the print head itself and moves with the print head uh, just some I've quickly looked at so I don't think I'm going to come up with a solution to this problem real quickly they're not expensive solutions most of them are in the $12 range and some of them are in the 35 not much more than that 19 here's 39 some of these have a, a very Ometer on them where you can change the intensity of the LED bars. I mean, boy, 
in just a short time. The rest of these are coming up just because it's LED. These LEDs are a little different. These are 24 volt LEDs because they run off the uh, fan voltage in truth. It's just tapped off the fan voltage. Same thing was the laser that I put on the uh, Enter 3 for wood burning and paper engraving, that kind of stuff. Uh, it all runs off the 24 volt fan voltage. That's even how you turn the la laser on and off. You simply turn the fan on and off for a certain duty cycle. But we're not going to get deep into that. We're going to kind of wrap this video up. Because as you see, it just goes on and on for uh, solutions for LEDs on an Ender 3 now. LED light bar kit. Uh, wish they showed me more how it worked on the printer itself. Hmm. Ah, it's up there. Ah, it's, it mounts up there and comes out. Yeah, so this is going to take some time. I do want another light back on it somehow, even if it's just a shop light shining on it, because it does help. But I'm not going to do anything about it right now. I just uh, really pulled a bonehead move, and to tell you the truth, I actually made it spark last week when I was cleaning it with that brush, and I said, oh boy, never bring that brush out the front again. I got away with it the first time. <laughs> when I did it yesterday, the Tron God said, yeah, I got you this time, little turkey. So, yeah, see, there's all, there's all sorts of crazy, 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 crazy stuff for uh, LED, LEDs now. Yikes. Got blasted in my ears. Uh, so, okay, guys, thanks.